And joining me now is someone who's interested in that as well, a former Minister for Trade, now Shadow Minister for Immigration and Citizenship, Dan Tehan. Dan, uh, migration barely debated at the election, but since Labor have come to power, they're very much pushing the big Australia line again. I remember it well from Kevin right in 2007 and beyond. How much of this is fed income and how much is just a quick economic fix? Oh, look, I, I think the trouble is that it, that it is fed income and they're doing it by stealth. And I think what we need to ensure is that we have a proper debate around this. We know we've got workforce shortages in this country and we know that they need to be fixed, but they need to be fixed through bringing in young, skilled workers to address those workforce shortages. But what the Labor Party are doing is hell-bent on expanding our migration. They're not doing it in ways which are going to fix these workforce shortages. And what it's doing is putting enormous pressure on housing. At the Grattan Institute estimates are that we will need 100,000 extra houses to be able to deal with the current uh, net overseas migration that we're seeing into the country, or maybe more. Uh, we're seeing congestions in our cities, particularly in Sydney and Melbourne, returning to pre-COVID levels. And that's the equivalent to the traffic congestion in Cairo and in Sao Paulo. And there is just no planning by the Labor Party to address these issues. Rents are skyrocketing and no plan whatsoever. As a matter of fact, what they did was commission a review by three eminent Australians into our immigration policy. Now, that review has been handed in. We haven't seen it. The submissions to that review, they've kept quiet. Uh, so, at this stage, after nine years in opposition, they had no plan, and we're nearly a year into this government and there is no plan. And meanwhile, what we're seeing is the workforce shortages not being addressed and we're seeing pressures mm. on housing, on rents, on congestion, all because they don't have a plan. Dan, why is it that we don't have a population plan? Why don't Australians know what the size of the country might be in 10 years' time, in 20 years' time? And don't say to me governments can't do it because we're already planning net zero 2050. Uh, you and I both know that population into our GDP numbers is a huge growth inflator, but often in per capita terms, Australians and households are worse off. That's, that's correct, and that's why you do need a plan. And the plan obviously has to adjust for things like congestion, like housing, what's happening to rent, what your unemployment rate is, and you've got to be able to assess all that, plus what, you, you, what your needs are in terms of workforce shortages. For instance, we know that under Labor Party policy, we need to see registered nurses 24 hours in all our aged care facilities. Now, we can't fill that demand locally. So what is their plan to bring overseas nurses in? Otherwise, we're going to see aged care facilities under enormous pressure and in regional and rural areas even potentially have to close. There is nothing. So what we need to see from this government mm. is a plan to address these workforce shortages in these critical areas and also to take into consideration those negative externalities that you're talking about, those negative impacts that you can get from immigration if you don't do it correctly. We don't know out of the potential 300,000 net overseas migrants that it's estimated that we're going to see coming to the country, how many of those are young and skilled? All this information should be made available so we know what is actually happening uh, with our net overseas migration. But we're getting nothing from the government. We're getting absolutely just quiet. Mm. And my view is they want to mm. do this by stealth, which isn't being transparent with the Australian. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll all look on budget night at that uh, line there about the migration numbers in the out years. I know you will be. I'll be doing that as well. Dantine, thank you.